Hi, I'm CJ Elmerig with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We've got a really cool Cimarron 2 Plus 1 sitting behind us with Air Ride. Now, unfortunately, this trailer is sold. Uh, I'll give you a little background. We had this trailer on order. Uh, this is kind of a normal piece that we carry in inventory or have on order at all times. Uh, customer called up, hey, I'm looking for a 2 Plus 1. I want Air Ride. And then as we got talking to him, this trailer was uh, on order, but was at a point as far as production before it actually hit the, the manufacturing line that we could make some changes. So we were able to tweak this trailer to fit their needs and what they, what they wanted for a finished product. Uh, and we were able to do that. Sometimes the trailer is just too far gone in the process that we're gonna roll with it the way it is, but we can custom order you whatever you want. But there are instances where we have a lot of these trailers on order that we can go in and we can actually tweak it to your likings and get it set up exactly how you want it. So, with that being said, again, Cimarron uh, 2024 model we're looking at here, Air Ride 2 Plus 1. We're gonna look at the drawing because I wanna show you some specs on this one. So we're 26, six on the floor. This one is seven, 10 tall. So a lot of the warm bloods are gonna be that seven and a half. Uh, on Cimarron's you're seven, seven. This one's seven, 10. And then the standard width, six, 10 wide. Uh, normally we run a five foot front tack room. This one's gonna have a seven. So that's one of the tweaks that the, the customer made on this one uh, is just getting them a larger tack room. So let's check this trailer out. Uh, it's got a ton of stuff on it. This guy is loaded for a two plus one. Um, as bad as it is to say, years ago, when I started here at TransWest, uh, we used to carry about one of these two plus ones on hand, on order at all times. And it was no air ride, seven, seven tall, no hydraulic jack, four foot front tack, very, very basic. Over the last probably five years, we've, this, this piece has really evolved in our inventory and what our customers want. Now we carry about five to six of these guys on hand, on order at all times. Um, of those, about four or five of those are gonna have air ride suspension. I mean, it's just, uh, we'll talk more about air ride, but it's really gained so much momentum in the industry. So it's really evolved and, and we've done a lot of extras to these trailers to make them really useful for you. Very first thing is I'll kind of back out of the way and we'll look right down at the nose. So this trailer is 710 tall. So it's, it's definitely taller than a lot of the standard trailers out there. But with that being said, with the air ride, it pulls phenomenally well, but with the extra height, hey, let's throw the V nose on it. So we'll do this uh, two plus one in just the standard nose, but then we'll do a couple of them in this V nose. And the customers that pull these V noses, man, they say these trailers pull like a dream. You combine it with air ride suspension with that nose, um, it pulls extremely well. Someday, maybe when we have two of these, the same height, exactly alike, um, we wanna do some testing to see what it does for miles per gallon, but we know that it will help um, with our fuel economy on the trucks with the v -nose. So Cimarron's v -nose, it doesn't come to that abrupt point. I like that it has a little bit of a radius to it. It's still gonna help aerodynamically, uh, but it, it's not that really abrupt point that we get on a lot of uh, V-nose trailers out there. And then it also shrinks down our storage area that we'll show you in a little bit. But again, this one here is gonna have that V-nose on it. Underneath, like I mentioned, we've got a electric over hydraulic jack. That's what the majority of them are set up when we order them. Uh, this is fantastic because this has a manual override. So if you get in emergency situations, you can get this on or off the truck. But boy, is it nice to push a button and up and down this trailer goes. Underneath here as well, we've got an LED light. A 16 inch shoots down towards everything we have here. These are becoming more and more popular as well because you know, usually our cab light on the truck gets blocked uh, by the nose of the trailer. We can't get as much light coverage, but if, if for some reason you're back here and you have to get a spare off or you're messing with the air ride, you have some light coverage back here. With the hydraulic jack, you're gonna get your aluminum battery box, 12 volt battery, and then a battery disconnect. That's all part of the standard package. Uh, years ago, we were continually putting on uh, battery disconnect. So when you park this trailer, if you leave a light on, you can just turn that switch to off and it'll kill, kill all power so we're not actually draining our battery. And then about two years ago or so, Cimarron made it as part of the standard package. We were just doing it on, on our trailers just because we felt uh, it was a good thing to just tell customers, hey, when, when you park it and walk away from it, just turn that to the off position and it kills power. In this one, we went ahead and located the uh, air ride 
compressor. It's all self-contained. It's all right there, but this way you get a good view of it, straight at, uh, looking straight at the gauge to see. Right now we have this trailer aired down. I'll explain why in a little bit. This is really easy to operate. You turn on and off, you put it in the lower raised position. Uh, whenever you're pulling this trailer, turn it on, put it in the raised position and go. Utilize those air ride benefits. Even if you don't have horses on there, it's gonna pull so much better um, on the trailer as far as uh, just kind of beating it up down the roads and then also on your tow vehicle as well. But a nice setup there. We have some how-to videos on how to operate it, how to shut it down properly. We can send you in a really condensed version. Same thing on the manual jack, how to operate that. So if that's something you're interested in, you can just let us know and we can send you those links as well. Now, spare tires located up higher because this trailer is 610 wide. Um, the, the jack itself has a larger footprint. So in order to accommodate this, we have to elevate it up out of the way, uh, but you're gonna get a fifth, you know, the spare tire is gonna have that fifth aluminum wheel. It's not like we're just gonna give you a steel wheel there. We'll talk more about these wheels and tires as we get to the back of the trailer. This one is white sheeted, that is standard. Silver, charcoal, metallic, black, those are popular options. There is an upcharge on those. Uh, we can do some custom colors as well. If you wanna do graphics to match your truck, we can help you out with that after the fact. Uh, we've got a sister company that does graphics, Mammoth Graphics over in Fort Lepton. So, you know, only about 10, 15 minutes away from our, our store here in Frederick, uh, but we can customize them for you. Do you wanna do some farm decals, something along those lines, we can help you out there as well. All right, front tack room. So, again, it evolved from a four foot straight wall. We like to do a lot of five footers just to give us some space. This customer here opted for a seven foot. Nice big tack room on this. As you approach it, as you can see, we have a step coming in. Really makes a big difference when you're walking in and out. If you're carrying totes, just carrying tack, you know, from this bottom rail to the ground is a big step, even when this trailer's aired down. So by having that step, it really makes it easy getting in and out. On your door, you're gonna have a brush tray on there for throw some just items, you know, brushes, hoof picks, fly sprays, anything like that. So as we get into this tack room, we've got a lot going on. We'll just start at the floor. This is a gray rubber flooring. Uh, this is fantastic stuff. Uh, pay attention as you're just out and about. Um, yeah, we went on vacation, uh, took the kids to an amusement park. We noticed they used it there. We were riding elevators. We saw it there. I mean, this stuff holds up really well to heavy traffic. What we really like is it's sealed at the edges. So it, it protects, we won't get dirt and grime underneath it like rubber mats will. Um, and then carpet, carpet holds odors. It'll hold stains. Uh, it'll never look how it did the first day you pick it up. Um, so in this instance here, you're gonna have the gray rubber floor. Then you're gonna have carpet. Uh, but first you're gonna notice We've got a boot box, this is an 18 inch, so your bigger buckets actually fit in this guy here because of the framework. Uh, but again, more miscellaneous items. Here's a hose for your tank. Here's just the, for the combo lock, the information there. This is equipped with 30 amp service, there's a cord. You can throw those items so they're not shifting around. You can sit down, use it as a bench if you need to, or you can use it if you need to hop up into the gooseneck area uh, for anything again a nice step there so you got the carpet on the deck carpet on the drop wall and then on that boot box as well but if you look at that nose because of that radius up there even though it's a v-nose that larger radius there's still quite a bit of room up there um cimarron noses are a little bit longer than the competitors a lot of competitors will run a seven six seven eight deep nose cimarron is eight two so you have some added length uh if you're running like a long box and you drop your tailgate, you can still walk behind it. It's not right up against your spare in that area there. Uh, but listen, if you wanted to, if you needed to spend a night in here, throw a, a bedroll, anything like that up there, you can. Look, there's two of you, you like each other, you have some room up there. It's still big enough in a large enough area because that depth and then that, that, that nose area uh, that you have that space. And then you've got two windows so you can see out and create a cross breeze in here. Up on the right hand side of that is gonna be a clothes rod. So you can hang clothes. If you're not taking up space in the back of the truck, keeping things nice and organized. You wanna hop in here, you're at a show, need to change, it's right there for you. Step up on your uh, boot box and grab those items there. LED lights, there's gonna be one above the door, one up on the left hand side of the gooseneck area. So plenty of light coverage. These are the OptiBright lights. 
big clear lens, a lot of light comes off of them, not a big power draw sensor LED. Uh, you're going to start noticing that will be standard. We've always just kind of upgraded our trailers to it. Customers really like it. That's going to be a standard uh, light moving forward from Cimarron as well. This is framed for an air conditioner. So if they ever wanted to add an air conditioner, maybe even a manual crank vent or even a 12 volt vent because we have 12 volt power, uh, that is the same footprint. But by having that already framed, it's gonna save a lot of time, a lot of hassle, a lot of money for you if you're adding those pieces on. Uh, with that being said, I showed you the power cord, but this is equipped with a 30 amp breaker package and then some outlets. So that cord I showed you, up underneath, you can plug in the power, portable generator, you can plug into other power sources, and we have power in this trailer. So if, for instance, you wanted to add the air conditioner, this piece is already done. We already have the power package. It's literally just putting the air conditioner on and then running our wire uh, and actually connecting it. But that piece of it's already done. You can charge a, some phones, run a laptop, any of those types of items. We have power here. Uh, they went ahead and put a couple 12 volt fans in the tack room. There's gonna be more in the stall area, but they're on a switch in here as well. We just have a lot of floor space moving around in here. Normally on these straight walls, it gets pretty tight in here when, when we're videoing these trailers. Uh, in this instance here, I mean, we've got some room to maneuver around, but you have a recessed post, three saddle racks, three blanket poles. These can all be adjusted. You wanna slide them down, you wanna change the sequencing. You just wanna take them out, you can. You just loosen the bolts, slide them where you want, tighten them, or just slide them out the top and then just store them somewhere safe. Carpeted partition wall, the whole thing, even the pass-through door. So there is a pass-through door going into the stall area. So for instance, we hear a lot of times customers will be like, man, I'm at an event, it starts raining. I can put somebody in this box stall and I can just work back and forth between uh, the tack room and that stall area uh, and you know, stay out of the elements. But it's nice to have the carpet with the bridle hooks protecting everything. These are aluminum powder coated, so these guys are stout. These are really well made. Uh, more could be added down the road if they ever wanted to, uh, so that's a nice little feature there. Outlet down low here on the wall, so that way, again, they can plug some items in. That monitor, I'll show you. We'll get into the stall here. We'll talk about the camera system on this one, but that's the monitor that goes to it. It's just 12 volt power, so you can move it from tow vehicle to tow vehicle if you need to. And then the last thing is, 48 gallon uh, half moon tank, so it fits really well on flat walls or 90 degree uh, corners if we need to work on them. There's, you know, obviously the corner water tanks, but this guy here works really well in these two plus ones where, you know, we're gonna put it on a flat surface or in a corner like this. So, you know, you got your hose, you can put that out here at the ball valve, fill up some buckets, not have to pack them, you know, long distances as you are um, actually at an event. So I showed you the box and tossed it in the boot box there, but this does have the combo lock. So you can just have the, the combo lock itself locked, run to the trailer, you don't have to have the keys, just punch it in, open it up. Um, you can access as long as this guy here isn't locked. Now, if you wanna seal it up, you'll have to lock your pass-through door and then either just use the combo lock or lock that up there. Gas shock on that fold-up step, very easy to operate there. So it is a two plus one, so it has the walk on, walk off. So we have our side ramp here, Dutch door up above, LED light, the 16 inch awning light in the middle there as you're coming off of the trailer, going into it. So you have plenty of light coverage there. Um, like I mentioned, we have this trailer aired down right now. It's get to pick it up about two and a half inches, three inches or so. Well, whenever we pick that up, it's actually gonna change the angle of this ramp. It's gonna make it steeper. It's gonna change the height then walking into our front tack and then our rear ramp that we'll show you here in a minute. So whenever you're loading, unloading equipment or your horses, have it aired down just so again, we don't have a steep of, of ramps um, going on or off the trailer there. And then the big chest bar that goes across butt bar. Um, there's one on each side. So you have one on the escape doors. You can, you can notice where we have that open so you can see through the trailer. Um, but in this is instance here, if you wanted to tie somebody up in there, you know, you can utilize this as a butt bar. We'll show you how that functions when we get inside that stall area here in a minute. Amber turn signal, 
Uh, that's a really cool piece. We're doing it on so many more trailers. We used to just do it on the real big trailers, eight foot wide, <laughs> but it's gaining a lot of popularity because this guy here works as a turn signal, a brake light, and then just like another larger uh, marker light. And what's great is, is the length of these trailers and people don't pay attention to trailers. You know, if their uh, windshield is right back here, they're not seeing their turn signals. This guy will turn on, truck's way up there. So it just lets them know, hey, I am trying to get over. Hopefully they'll work with you. So I've got the Dutch door uh, up above on the side ramp closed or uh, in the open position. So I've got the drop window closed right now. I'll show you on the other side when we get to it. It's got drops on each side and then a big bus window on the tail side. So you can create a lot of airflow within this trailer. Now, let's talk about that air ride and what we have going on. So we have two 7,000 pound axles, electric brakes on this one with the air ride. So the air ride, is actually some rubber torsion axles as a shock kit and then the airbags and the actual compressor and the line so in in this instance here where it's sitting now air down older trailers you couldn't move this trailer so if it was just air down or you know you had an issue with a bag a line a compressor you couldn't move the trailers on this system here you can still move this trailer if you need to get to where you need get something addressed if you have an issue um, but the air ride makes such a massive difference for the ride of the horses. I'm talking, uh, we've done some videos. We pr obviously, we always wanna do more. We wanna show you the benefits of this. Uh, Dexter did testing. So behind the axles is the worst part of a ride on a trailer. It's like the back of a school bus. That's truly the easiest in, way to explain it. Um, when we were younger and you wanted to ride to the back of the school bus because you go over railroad tracks or hit bumps, and man, it's fun. You knew when they were coming, they would launch you. Well, that's our horses back there. We don't want to launch them. So takes away 52% of the road shock by having this system. We spend so much time and money on these animals. Why not give them the best opportunity to go compete at the highest level? There is a video years ago we did and they put three horses on it and it was, it was, a, it was a slant load, but uh, there was a middle horse. It was, a, it was a gilding standing in the middle. I always remember that horse because when the air was off, like it's sitting now, when they were driving, he had spread himself out. So he, you know, spread forward and backwards and kind of put his back legs and front legs out to kind of brace him. And man, his ears were pinned and then he'd get pissed and he'd kick the back wall and just was not having a good time. They turned the air ride on, same horse, didn't even unload him, put the air ride on, made the same path and it was like a different horse, it was a complete 180. He stood square underneath himself, ears forward, totally relaxed. So it does make a massive difference in just the ride um, for these animals. So huge benefit there on the air ride. Now, this customer here op uh, opted to upgrade to the 17 and a half inch Alcoa wheels. The, the, the brightness of these guys is phenomenal. You can always shine them back up as long as you don't gouge them. Um, but you have big 18 ply Continentals. We had 17.5 set up on this trailer but they opted to go with the Alcoa. It is a good look to this trailer. And then those big heavy duty wheels and tires. I mean, you have awesome running gear underneath this guy. Uh, so definitely an upgrade there. We like to do the 710 tall trailers with the 17 fives rather than the standard 16s. And that's just because of the height. I mean, the box is just a lot taller. It just kind of looks out of place with those 16s when it's aired up and you have that big box. This in our opinion, just gives a much better aesthetic look to the trailer by having those larger wheels and tires. And then you have 18 ply tires underneath it. So can't beat that. Dutch doors are attached to the side. If you wanna run with those open down the road, you can. You can actually lock all those as well. So you can lock all those into position. It's all one key on this trailer. Uh, so all your doors, your tack doors, rear doors, your ramps, your drop windows, whatever, everything has one key. So at the back here, ramp with the Dutch doors over it. Those are the wraparound style hinges so they get to the side of the trailer. You'll notice the middle light is a backup light. So our, our truck's a long ways away. You throw that guy in reverse. You know, our backup lights on our truck are basically worthless at that point, the length of the trailer and hitting the trailer. So we have backup lights here. We'd like to add that to a lot of our inventory and customers really, really like that. Uh, nice little feature there. There's a spoiler at the top. Uh, our GM likes to run a spoiler. He's got a demo two plus one. And, and the reason why is if, if you've noticed and you live down dirt roads with a passenger vehicle, truck, whatever, if you go to the back bumper, you'll notice a lot of dust accumulates at the back. Well, or just road grime, especially when we get to winter. 
Well, what that spoiler does, it actually forces air down and away from the trailer. So it gets that stuff away from the back of the trailer. Uh, so that's a nice little piece there that's been added on. There is a backup camera in the middle there. There's more cameras on the inside of this that we'll show you, but that goes in with that monitor. Uh, this is a, a system that we use uh, our parts and service department can install it. We have options of a monitor with two cameras and a monitor with up to four cameras. So in this instance here, they did three. So if they ever wanted to add the fourth one, they could, but we can add those after the fact. What's really cool is that it taps into just the marker lights or your running lights for power. And then that monitor is 12 volt power. So you just plug it into your cigarette lighter and then they'll talk. So it's wireless. And with these Cimarron uh, insulated roofs, it works so well um, as far as the, the signal goes itself. Uh, it's a really easy system to go in and add. Uh, we can help you out again, parts and service department there. But you can keep an eye on stuff, backup camera, and then there'll be a couple stalls, that, uh, stall cameras we'll show you here in a minute. Okay, in this stall area here, I've got this side all broke down, but there's a reason for it. You notice butt bar with the bolster pads pads on the divider itself, airflow, full divider. So this guy here is basically a stud divider. We did airflow. Again, maximize a lot of air movement throughout this trailer, keeping horses nice and cool. Chest bar as well on each side. And then it does have the feed bag in the rings. So the, again, I told you there's a reason why I broke this guy down on the passenger side of this. So I can get the bags and everything out of the way and I can go, hey, you know what'd be cool? Is if I could make this a box stall. Well, this gate here has that ability to easily move over to the other side of this trailer. So once I get broke loose, I'm in the middle, this guy's on a track that runs off the ceiling and it slides over. And then I've got locations in the floor and ceiling to just go ahead and re-secure it and lock it into place. Now all of a sudden we have two box stalls and it was that simple. I mean, it's a one person job in just a few seconds. Um, then I can roll it back. So for instance, if I wanted to load like a golf cart in the front, I'll show you here in a minute, we can break all that down, but you can roll that in, roll it back. Uh, if you just wanna run with a couple of box stalls, again, you've got that capability. We took this concept from our show cattle trailers that has this gate that travels, but it runs the length of the trailer. So the gate goes across the actual body of the trailer. We just said, just turn it, makes sense. The reason why it's one big full piece is just so it's got the strength and it's easy to move back and forth. Uh, so it makes a world of difference in moving this um, from side to side. So it'll, it'll only store over to passenger side, but then you can slide it in the middle and again, utilize it as a, as a two horse straight load. So you've got your stud gates up at the front. You have one on each side. We actually like to go ahead and add a little bit of length in our box stall. So this door, especially over here on the right side, passenger side, we have clearance. It's not gonna interfere with the opening of the side ramp. So we put a little bit of length in here to make sure that everything is nice and clear walking these horses, you know, on and off this trailer. But you've got those guys there. And again, if you wanted to load something in this first box stall, something along those lines, have one big compartment, this post can come out too. It just is on a pin and I lift it out of the floor. So very, very simple to use there. All right, let's kind of talk, talk about what else we got going on in here. So we have two-way roof fence throughout this trailer. We have some at the front and some over the horses, but we can manipulate airflow there. Uh, they opted to put fans. So there's two fans here at the front of the box stall, one at the front of each horse in the back area. Uh, and then there's that camera that we were talking about. Here's the second one. So it's gonna be able to look into this box stall and then also catch the heads of the horses here. And then before we leave, I'll show you the last camera as we're going out. But LED lights in here, so we have you know, above each horse, one here at the side ramp. So we have plenty of light coverage in here. Insulated roof is standard on every single Cimarron. I mentioned that briefly about the cameras, but boy, does this make a big difference. This stuff is strong, so it'll take substantial hail. I can walk on it, 150 pounds per square foot. It'll, it'll handle a honeycomb design, so it's really 
half inch thick. So, I mean, it's reinforced. It is strong stuff. Um, but mainly, in my opinion, the most important aspect and benefit of it is what it does for stall area temperature. It'll keep the stall area 20% cooler than aluminum sheeted roof. So most trailers, I mean, we had a hail storm here last, last May. It was May 9th. Every aluminum trailer on the lot had hail damage. The Cimarron's didn't. The only exceptions we had were on LQs where maybe a, a, a vent cover got cracked, a, a generator cover got some dings in it, but those are aluminum sheeted. So these roofs made it out, but boy, does it keep these trailers so much cooler. These horse trailers are the perfect example. You come in in the summertime, you step in a trailer with an aluminum sheeted roof on a real hot day and you feel that heat. And then we take you to a Cimarron, exact same setup, all sealed up. And boy, you, feel, you tell a physical difference. So. A lot of fans, a lot of airflow, even our stud gates have airflow through them. Um, so again, we can keep animals nice and cool. Fans they incorporated. I mean, talk about a comfortable stall area for the horses. This definitely has it. Kick mats all the way around on the stud doors, on all the walls, even up at the front. And then here we have worm flooring. So instead of rubber mats where we have these pieces in the floor because we're moving, well, we have to notch around all those. So getting the, the mats back in is difficult and getting them to fit around there is a little tricky. Um, but in this instance here, now we don't have to worry about it. There's worm flooring, it's permanent, it's unpenetrable. You just muck the solids out, nose it up with your hydraulic jack, power wash it out, and you're in business. So this stuff we've, we've been putting on so many trailers because we've been ordering so many custom trailers for customers that even our inventory, I notice is a big shift in how many trailers are actually gonna come standard with worm flooring uh, versus the actual rubber mat. One last thing I wanna show you before we get out of here, I mentioned it out, out front there, but was this um, bar over the side ramp. And this one's pretty cool because it's not just the bar that breaks loose off the carabiner, but this guy here also slides up and we gave it a little foot to rest in. So now it's out of the way, it's not dangling. You just lift it up, it slides down, and you just clip it into place. So uh, you can do so many things with this trailer, even if you need to utilize it for other things, hauling some toys because of that moving divider, just sliding out of the way. You know, you could load a couple four wheelers in here. Maybe you just need to haul the uh, lawnmower somewhere to get serviced. Maybe you're moving, you know, just creating these box stalls gives you a lot of option. And that's, that is this trailer right here. Okay, the very last camera is gonna be right above the rear opening here. And it's actually gonna look down over our two horses here at the back of the trailer. So again, that one up at the front in the box stall is gonna catch that horse. If you have somebody up there and then be able to see through the, the bars, seeing the horse's head up there, but then you have this camera here. So really good setup covering all the bases in the stall area there with those cameras and then your backup camera as well. Here's another good look at the Dutch door swung over, latched out of the way. Again, you have the bus window. Here's that drop window that was, we had the Dutch door uh, for the side ramp opened up over. But as you can see, this is the same feed door we use on our slant loads, big heavy duty, uh, framework on these guys. These guys are stout. We're going to open and close these about every time we use the trailer. So we need them to hold up. So that's all framework right there. You have the jail bar that can fold down as well. So if you need to throw more hay into those feed bags, something along those lines, you can do that. And then again, they're keyed like the rest of the trailer. Um, on these doors, with except, exception of like the rear doors uh, that have those wraparound style hinges, but our tack door these feed doors are gonna have that real heavy duty welded hinge with grease certs so you can maintain and put grease to them if, if you need to, if you have one that's kind of squeaky. Another 16 inch awning light there in the middle. So we have lights at the rear, lights on each side, and then we upgraded to a few more running lights on this trailer. Um, some customers, boy, they want a lot of lights. They want them to look like chicken haulers to where, you know, we're putting lights every, you know, foot, uh, that's been one of the bigger ones was about every foot uh, top rail and bottom rail that we did. Uh, it was pretty impressive at night and looked really cool. But on this one here, a few extras, it'll make this trailer look really sharp at night driving down the road. And then you do have an access door going into that box stall. There's our chest bar going across it. Same thing, we can lock it up, 
fold up step if you wanted to hop in there. And then the last piece is it's gonna have a drop window as well. So if we have somebody in the first box stall, we wanna get some more airflow too. You have a drop window and then a bus window as well. So a lot of airflow because on the other side, you're gonna have your ramp and then that Dutch door up above it, which does have a window in there. So you can really get a lot of airflow throughout this trailer. And then you just cap it off with that insulated roof. Um, talk about a really cool and well-equipped two plus one. Uh, I don't think there's anything really missing on this. And this one's got about every bell and whistle you can find on it. And they definitely upgraded with some nice features as well. So uh, I'm gonna give you the stock number on it. Again, it's sold, um, but we wanted to show you all the cool options on it. So if you're interested in something like this or just wanna see the options we can put on them, you can reference 5N231564. Again, it's a 2024 Cimarron 2 Plus 1 Warm Blood Air Ride trailer. So give us a call. Anybody in our sales team can help you out. Um, I guess I should back up. We do take trade-ins. So if you're looking to upgrade, downsize, we can help you out there. Financing is available and delivery. So give us a call, 303-684-3400. Thanks for tuning in and have a good day.